This is a harmonic drive. When you turn this little wave generator around, it engages the teeth in a circle. And because there's two more teeth on the outside than on the inside, it creates a reduction. That's the way this works is the wave generator squeezes the flex spline so that only these teeth and these teeth engage the outer gear. While the wave generator needs flexibility, the base part, that's the part that actually drives the output, is very, very rigid. So I can try to, I can try to twist this cup, uh, but while this is much more flexible than the ability to twist it, it's much more rigid to twist at the top. So basically you're using a combination of flexibility and stiffness to get this amazing thing to do what it does. It's fairly easy to print this shape, and you can even print the bottom one here. So that you have a cup that has both the teeth on it and then the output. The problem is that when you print this, the layer lines all run horizontally here. And when you put that twisting force on there, the weakest part of the print, the layer line, that's the part that breaks right away. So I had an idea. This is a soda can. This is made with a very accurate process. It's got a very, very thin wall. And if I try to twist it, it really holds up to that twisting force, even though I can very easily squeeze it with almost no force. What if you combine this with that and you put an output on the end? You have something like this. It works. Crazy idea. Been wanting to try that for a long time. Anyway, Happy New Year. 2026 is coming. Look out.